Hello, it is Wednesday and it's after school because I had no time to get on the camera today at all. Oh my goodness. Every day feels like a race to the end to try to get everything done. It's just exhausting. I think it's just because really it's still the beginning of the year. We have a lot of new things that we're doing. There are so many procedures to practice, 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 and everything takes longer right now than it will later. But I'm going slow now so I can go fast later. We're starting to get into a groove. This is our third day doing iReady lessons and today was much better than yesterday. Yesterday was much better than Monday. So we're making progress. And the biggest thing is they just need to remember which day we're on because we're alternating math and reading every other day because I don't want them to get burnt out on doing all math or all reading. Um, our reading group time went pretty well today. I met with everybody that I wanted to, so that's yay. They all got to read. Um, I had some kids that were sick, unfortunately, so that's just this time of year. The germs are getting us. Oh, <sighs> I did a games rotation today for math, like my math station time. There's only going to be time for one thing each day, but... Right now, I'm having everybody do the same thing. So Monday, we all did an interactive notebook page. So that's the second one that we've done. Tuesday, we all did a game. That was the fish game that I showed you with the place value fish. Today, we all did a roll and color game from my Apple games. We did that. So they enjoyed that. They thought that was fun. Tomorrow, they'll all do Prodigy. Then, they will have all been through the rotations. Then next week, we'll start, maybe not. We might do this again. Everybody does the same thing because I want to introduce them to the like centers that I just got last weekend from Not So Wimpy Teacher. And I also have some from Lucky Little Learners. And the ones from Not So Wimpy Teacher um, have a little booklet that go with it. All 10 centers, the direction, not the directions, the recording sheets are in this little booklet and they just use this till they've done every center. And it helps them keep track of where they've been. So, oh, these are upside down. <laughs> That's okay. They can make it work. Oh, and these are not in order. <laughs> okay, well, whatever, it'll work. It's kind of goofy right now. <laughs> Look, one is right side up and one is upside down. And I'll just say, guys, sorry, it, it copied funny and I'll, I'll fix it next time. And it's not in order. <laughs> So just make sure that you're on the right center. Ugh, whatever. Live and learn, right? So I just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Just didn't copy right. So it'll be fine. They have all their center rotate. Ah! They have all their center recording sheets in there. So it's all together. And when they're done with it for the day, they're going to put it back in this basket here. It'll go back in here. Because things that go in their cubby get lost in their cubby. So I don't want them to have to put one more thing in there. They already have a ton of stuff in there. And I still keep finding papers on the bottom. Papers only go on the top. I don't understand. And some of these are kids I had last year, and they know papers go on the top. So I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know. Whatever. We had a lesson on what your cubby should look like. Apparently we need another lesson, and I need to draw a diagram. Because that would help. They'll have a visual. Uh, and I think I'll probably put it up on the cubby, you know, the little cabinet so they can look at it. They can go, oh, my cubby doesn't look like that. Probably just take a picture, honestly, because it'd be a lot easier. And I'll just put arrows and stuff. Alrighty. I'm trying to think, what else did we do today? So we did I ready math. Today was day two of math. So they've done all their math for the week. I'm going to check their minutes. We got an email saying, um, you have to have the kids log out of I ready where it keeps going on their minutes. And I'm like, I don't think so. At least I have the kids swipe out of it, which is the same as closing out, right? Isn't it? You can't just click off. You have to swipe out. But if they swipe out of it, that's closing out because it's not on there anymore, in my opinion. Right? I don't know. I think because when I've checked their minutes, it's never said they've had, you know, four hours on there. So I think it works. I don't know. I'll check it and see. Anyway, everybody has had their chance to have all their time for math this week, unless they were absent. Um, tomorrow's our last day of reading for the week because Fridays are just cray cray and we can't do anything like that on Friday, so it won't work. Um, I read the book Ish today, which is a great growth mindset book. 
my kids really enjoyed it. And I said, okay, so, you know, when I say make something ish, they'll know that it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do your best. That's all I ask for is your best. You can't do more than your best. If you've done your best, you've done everything you could. You have nothing to be ashamed of. And they're like, okay. So, yay. I love that book. I'm um, looking around trying to see if there's anything else. I just realized my objectives board. I haven't touched it since I wrote it up there the first time. So, um... Honestly, though, my math, it says even and odd and place value. I can just erase even and odd because we're working on place value right now. That's the whole chapter. Um, we're still working on the writing process and writing. In reading, we are talking about characters, but we've also talked about other things. We're still doing the scientific method in science. I haven't really done a lot of science. And in language, we do different stuff. So it says adjectives. Yeah, we're not really doing that right now, so I need to change that. So it's not very current. But let me tell you, this little dude is doing pretty well. This little pocket chart that has their logins for all things iPad. Oh, yeah. That's working very well. And they've gotten into the swing of putting their cards in number order so they can find them again because I numbered their cards at the top. Let me move you over a little bit so you can fall on the floor. There we go. So it's working pretty well. And when the kids goes, I can't find my card. It's not where it's supposed to be. I went, oh, somebody probably put theirs in your spot when they put it away in a hurry. So we found it and then we rearranged. So it's in order now and they've done really well remembering to grab their card and take it with their iPad so they can log in. So, and they're doing great logging into AR now. It just took a few times. I have one girl I think is, that's really close to re reaching her 100% goal for the quarter already because she's been taking tests like a maniac. She reads her library books and take tests, takes tests. Then she grabs AR books from my library and takes tests too. Can you find the number for this? Because none of my AR books have the quiz number in them. But I do kind of want them to come to me and show me that they've read the book. So I'm okay with looking it up and writing it in the cover. So that's been pretty cool. Um, my super improvers are doing pretty well too. Let's do a super improvers check in. See all those stickers. So I rewarded those that were sitting quietly on the rug at dismissal time today because I'd already asked them to do it. And that's our procedure every day, no matter what. And so the ones that were running around being crazy, I just didn't say anything to them. I just looked at them and I waited and they didn't notice I was watching them. So I just went and got my stickers and started handing them out to people. Thank you for doing what you're expected to do. Thank you for following directions. Thank you for being respectful. Thank you for being responsible. Thank you for being safe. Thank you for doing what you're supposed to do. And I just didn't really say anything. And they all, oh, a whole bunch of kids got stickers and a whole bunch of kids didn't. <laughs> and then I said, friends, I'm not sure some of you noticed, but many of us got stickers because we were sitting quietly, as is the expectation for the end of the day. They don't need to be wild and crazy at the end of the day. That's just, it's too much stress. Ugh. I said, guys, I don't know about you, but I personally... Mrs. Bond does not enjoy all the loud and crazy at the end of the day. It doesn't need to be loud and crazy. People shouldn't be running around. People shouldn't be grabbing each other's backpacks or poking each other or kicking or trying to knock each other down or chasing in circles. We shouldn't be doing any of that. We should be safely sitting on our square waiting to be called to dismiss. I said, I'm very disappointed. It's very sad. And they just kind of were like, so... I said, tomorrow's a new day. We can start fresh again. So I said, maybe tomorrow all of you will get stickers. I said, guys that were in my class last year, how does Mrs. Bond feel about having to go to Walmart to get more stickers? And they were like, they said, you love it. I said, I totally do. I would go to Walmart every day if I needed to to get stickers because we're running out. Because you know why? And they're like, why? I said, because that's the reason is because you're so awesome. Because I'm giving so many stickers out because you're awesome. That's a great reason to have to go get more. And they're like, oh, I said, I'm okay with getting stickers like all the time. That would be great. I would love to run to Walmart every day after school and get more stickers because I ran out. And they're like, oh, I said, but it hasn't happened lately because I haven't been able to give you stickers because you haven't been as awesome as you could be. They're like, oh, yeah. So there you go. Hopefully they'll be extra awesome tomorrow so they can get more stickers. Yeah. We had a meeting today to discuss um, the top student that we're concerned about in our little kind of an intervention like HOPE. It's called HOPE Team. 
And what we do is we bring a student of concern to our little group and we talk about what's going on and why we're concerned and then we get ideas of what we can do to help them. Sometimes it's something we need to do in our classroom. Sometimes it's something that the special ed teachers need to do, maybe some testing, maybe it's something the counselor needs to address, and maybe it's something the office needs to address. So one of the administrators takes over, depending on what the concern is. And so we did that for part of plan time. The other part of my plan time, I don't remember what I was doing. I was doing something that took up time. <laughs> I don't know. It took up time, whatever it was. Oh, I was talking to the librarian. Late buses are loading now, which means it's almost time for me to go. I'm getting a haircut today, just a trim. So, yay. And tomorrow's picture day, so I hope, hope my hair cooperates because sometimes after you get a haircut, your hair is, like, shocked, and it doesn't like to do what you want it to do. So wish me luck on that. Um, I'll show you my outfit real quick, and then I'm going to pack my stuff up and go because I have five minutes before I can leave. Yay! Because I've had early duty this week, and you can leave 15 minutes early because you started 15 minutes early. Alrighty, let me back up so you can see what I've got on. I've worn this sweater before and I love it. It just, it goes with so many things. I've got this little tank top thing that I got from Old Navy last year that's kind of a tropical theme. I have this necklace and earrings from Maurice's. I have this ring that's a, my ring is a chameleon ring where you can pop the center out and put different things in. That's what I'm wearing there. Um, my bracelets came, these came from, I want to say either Maurice's or Kato. I can't remember. I do a lot of shopping at both, or used to. And there's my Alex Nanny pineapple bracelet. And I've got just some sparkly flippy floppies that are probably from, oh, these are from Walmart from a couple years ago. And they didn't get worn out because then I hurt my foot and I couldn't wear any shoes. I was you know, on a scooter and couldn't do anything. <laughs> so I've got black leggings on, this cute little tropical shirt, this little sweatery thing. And it's pretty simple, but comfortable. So let me back up so you can see the whole thing. I just noticed when I was walking back, there's a band-aid stuck to the floor. Great. <laughs> Hope it comes up pretty easily because I don't want to mess with that. Gross. Uh, one of our custodians quit unexpectedly. Just, I'm not coming in. I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yikes. So I told my kids, I said, oh, you know, Mr. Blah, blah, blah isn't going to be our custodian anymore. So we have to be extra clean now because we don't have the extra help. And so they're really good about cleaning up this room. I mean, honestly, these kids are really good cleaner uppers, and I really appreciate it. And we've talked about how we need to have responsibility for our classroom, and we need to be, you know, respectful and clean up our own messes and things. I think the pineapple fairy needs to leave us a little treat. And I brought one of those little pineapple cups that I got from a lovely subscriber. Thank you. I'm going to use that. from. That'll be things from the pineapple fairy. She'll leave stuff in that little pineapple. I just took the straw out the top. So I could use it as a container for goodies. Yay. I think the next time the kids turn in the, their pencil pouches, they will get a cap eraser for their pencils because some of them are starting to get worn. And then the next time will be the last, be the last Friday of September. So then they'll get their brag tags and they're going to get a fancy pencil for Halloween. So an October pencil, which will be a special. I got some from the dollar spot, I think. From last year but I found a whole bunch of really cute ones at Walmart and there were like 28 of them I think in a pack which is awesome because I don't have a few spells so cool I'm gonna get packed up and get out of here and my daughter should be waiting for me soon and then I'll be able to get my hair trimmed run to Walmart and grab some things from there and go home and then my daughter is gonna go to a self-defense class with her friend tonight so that's cool her friend does I'm not sure how you say it, Krav Maga, something like that. That's a martial arts thing that she does normally. And they're having a special, um, whatever I just said, self-defense class. <laughs> yeah, tonight. And it's free. So she's going to go with her friend and learn some moves. Basically, it's like how to get out of a chokehold and how to get away from people, which is a really good skill to have if you're, especially if you're a petite girl, like if you're shorty like me and my daughter, you need some moves to get away from these big, bulky people. So. Hopefully she gets some really great information and some good moves so she can protect herself. All right, I'm going to go and I'll see you next time. Hello, we're home from the hair place and Walmart. And my hair looks a little weird because <laughs> it has no spray in it now. But, well, it does, but it's not holding because it's got combed out. But it's a little shorter now, so it'll be ready for tomorrow's pictures. 
I need to pick out what to wear tomorrow. That's always a struggle. Like, what do you wear for picture day? You want something that's a good color. They're only going to see like this much of it probably on me. So I want it to be a good color that you can see in the picture. So I don't know. I'll pick something out. Obviously, I can't go naked. That would not be a good look. Um, I'm going to try to put together the math centers that I talked about earlier. I finally found those little pencil cases, pencil pouches that I had. Sorry, Boo's licking my toe. <laughs> that was weird. Hey, Boo. Anyway, I found the pencil cases. Sorry about the glare that I was looking for in my classroom. Hango, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, say hi. Say hi. Oops. Come here, you. Mango says hi. Hi. Hey. Hey, baby. Come on down. This mango update. She's getting big. She's almost three months old. Hey, little poop. Okay. Down. Okay. Too busy. Too busy. She just got out of her prison of the bathroom. <laughs> so she's ready to run. And Onyx is playing with the balloon. That's pretty cute, too. Let's go look at that. Because she's, she's pretty cute. Are you going to play with the balloon? Balloony tunes. Look at there. She's batting at the balloon. Say hi, poops. This is Onyx. Nickname was Poops. Because she's kind of a stinker. She's very ornery. Yes. Okay. Back over here. Oh, that's better light, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of glare because I have lots of windows. <laughs> so, sorry. The sun is coming down a little bit. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, tonight, Caitlin is going to go to that self-defense thing. Oh, Pikachu's on the scratching post. They don't have claws, so it's all a mental thing. Just makes him feel better about himself. <laughs> and I encourage him. Good boy. Good boy, Pikachu. Good boy. Sharpen those claws. Yeah. Okay, so. Open. Oh, we've got cats outside peeking in, too. There's just cats everywhere in our house. Yep. One, two, three kitties looking in the window. Anyway, it's my daughter's jacket back there. She doesn't put it away. Do you have kids that do that? Just throw stuff everywhere? Hmm. It's a struggle. Constant struggle. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know. Okay, maybe maybe there was good. I don't know. Let's try this. It's a constant struggle to get things put away. She's got a shoe pile over there, too. And I'm like, please put your shoes away. Like, nobody else leaves shoes around but you. Go put them away, crazy girl. Anyway, she's getting ready to leave. We just picked up a couple of like yoga pants for her for uh, tonight and for lazy days at school. There she is. <laughs> there she was. <laughs> okay, she's going to my room to steal my mirror probably. <laughs> yep. Okay, anyway. Oh, pumpkin's looking at me through the door. I'm very distracted, sorry. I only ate a breakfast burrito today for lunch or for whatever, for everything. And I'm a little... So I'm hungry and tired and hot. So... I'm going to go change my clothes and put on some pajamas. Good girl, Mango! Yay! Look at there. Scratching post kitty. Yes, and I still need to put away that dang paper. <laughs> but I've been using it. I've been making centers and things during the weekend and then laminating them. So my printer is up here. I need to move everything downstairs. But I need, you know, it's like you got to do A, B, and C before you can do D, E, and F and all the way to Z. So one of these days I'll have the time and energy to deal with all that, but right now I just don't because it's still the beginning of the school year and I'm exhausted at the end of the day. Who am I kidding? I'm exhausted midday. <laughs> I'm exhausted midday and ready to call it quits about noon. Yeah, that's kind of how it is right now. Mm. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to work on those centers tonight. I brought home the little pencil pouches so that I can number them and put the things inside them. I showed you that I got the little recording booklets done, so we're going to start that probably next week. And what else did I bring home? I brought something else home too. Oh, I brought home a little stack of books that I had gotten from Scholastic like last year and never did anything with them, so I thought I would look for quizzes for AR on them. And I got some more dot stickers so that maybe I could dot sticker some of the books if they're the right dot level. I don't have red or blue so I need to find them somewhere. I guess Amazon. I'll have to order them. That's fine. And I think that's about it. Oh, and decide for sure which thing I want to do for Power Hour tomorrow. Oh, and I've had a couple of requests to link the um, place value things that I found that I've been showing that I'm using for Power Hour. I will do my best. Some of those things, if I find them on a website, I don't always save them. Like I just have them up on my computer and I just print them off. 
and then I save the extras in my extras drawer and I don't bother putting them on the computer. So if I have them still and I can find them for you, I'll definitely link them below. I'll just put them on this video and you can click on them and get them too. Everything pretty much that I've been using has been free except for uh, the place value party that's from Amy Lemons. That was like around $6, I think. It's really cute. My kids have not done anything with that yet. Um, so we haven't made our cake yet, but that's coming up. That'll be our project next week for our extra math stuff. So that'll be fun. Or maybe we'll do it on Friday. I don't know. I need to print it out. No, I need to copy it. I've made a printout of each page, but I need to copy it. <laughs> oh! Mango jumped on the couch, knocked over my hairspray that I just got from the salon, and almost brained herself. <laughs> Thankfully, it rolled off before she did. And now she's kind of tentatively sniffing it, wondering what the heck it was. <laughs> what is that? What is that, huh? What is that crazy thing? <laughs> I love watching her discover new things. It's so fun. It's like watching a kid. Watching a kid discover something for the first time. So cute. She's still sniffing it and licking it and wondering what the heck it is. <laughs> yes, and now she's over it. She's like, okay, whatever. No, no, baby. No, no, no. No scratchies. Whoop. Go use the scratching post. Whoop, come here. Come. Oh, pfft. she's gone. She gone. Okay, so. Yes, I will link everything that I can find below here for you so you can click on it and find it. And I will also link the place value party because I told you I would do that anyway. So that'll be on there. And probably just anything I can find, I'll stick on there. Um, probably just rambling now. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to change my clothes and get some stuff done and have a little snack because I'm very, very tired and kind of loopy apparently. <laughs> and then my husband should be home in a little while and we can chat for a while, have supper and go to bed because that's... Our lives <laughs> there's not much in between okay so I hope you are having a good week or hope you've had a good week at this point because I have to think ahead you won't see this till the weekend it's Wednesday for me so made it through hump day we have two days left of the week yay <sighs> two days more of morning duty that's okay that's all right it's not been bad at all kids are liking the morning tubs they're enjoying building with the brain flakes and the Legos and the pattern blocks and the little wooden pieces pretty cool Okay, I'm going to go now, do all the things I said I was going to do, and I'll check back in with you next time. Looks like it's 310. Yeah! One. <laughs> nice. Ten. One. Look at the puny ones now. Where is that? Oh, man. We can get 100 next time. Bella's not drawing it. Yeah. That makes it cute. Bella's not drawing it. Can you see? Look at you. Yeah, I almost, I got two. How'd you get the same number twice? I don't know. That's crazy. Uh, you got a big one that time. Woo wee. Yeah. Wood. Except she only needs to spend four times, not five. <laughs> yep, do this side first, babe. You are, aren't you? Yep. 121. That's perfect. I did this bit. Okay, do the whole bird side first. You want to go ahead and spin while she's gone since it's your turn? Then you'll be ready when she comes back. Looking good. Yeah. I got 100. Good job. Look at the fourth one. You got the same number that she got two times. I got 23. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You got this one two times and then she got it over here. And then I got another tw two. Oh my gosh. You got twos, don't you? Good morning. Happy Thursday. My kids are at art right now and it's picture day. So right after art we have pictures. So the kids look extra spiffy today. And as they came in I said, are you ready for picture day? Yeah. Show me your picture day smile. And they smiled really big and I said, oh you are so ready. So that's pretty exciting. And I'm glad we don't have PE today because they would have been sweaty messes right after. <laughs> My little buddy teacher over here has PE and I think she went and asked if she could do it earlier and I think they did that. So that's good. Or doing it later, maybe. I don't know. Got my hair cut last night, so it's a lot shorter. But I think it's okay. I have little sticky outs, but whatever. That's just the way it is. So I decided I would wear my, kind of like my birthday outfit. I don't want to say my birthday suit, because that's not a good connotation. <laughs> Let's not do that at school. <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm wearing my jumper thing with silver, kind of like, I don't even know what they are, silver things, <laughs> matching earrings. This came from, I want to say Kato probably, with some bracelets randomly probably from Kato and Maurice's and all kinds of stuff. I just grabbed some silver and my Alex Nanny pineapple bracelet and my ring from Walmart. And then I have these silver shoes from Rue 21. And that's about it. So I'll back up so you can see it. I've worn this once before for my birthday. So it's just been a few weeks. I thought it's supposed to be 92 today. And then tomorrow we have fall weather and it's jeans day. So the perfect time for it to cool down so we don't melt in our jeans. Last time we had jeans day, I went, nope, this girl can't do jeans when it's 95 outside. So I wore some uh, leggings that day, some Capri leggings, and it was much cooler. A lot of people were running around going, oh, and I'm like, why would you put jeans on if it's so hot? I don't know. It doesn't bother some people. It bothers me. So tomorrow, jeans day, I can wear some of my new birthday jeans and a cute little top. That'll be nice. But for now, I'm here for picture day in my 92 degree outfit. <laughs> going to back up so you can see it and then I'll tell you some of the things that we've been doing and some of the things that we did yesterday that I didn't get a chance to show you. So this little jumper thing just came from Walmart. I know sometimes they have some super cute stuff so when you go to grab some laundry detergent or whatever swing through the clothing aisle and the jewelry you might find something cute. All right let me show you what was I going to show you? Oh, I got my centers ready last night. So I found these. I had forgotten where I'd stashed them. I had bought a class set of those because I didn't know how many people would bring the pencil pouches for the pencil challenge. And I was able to get enough. No, but no, I was going to say we got school supplies like extra things from the counselor. They did not have those. So I think I only ended up using two of these. So now I still have like 22 of them left because I got 24. So that would be enough to do two sets of these and then I'll need to get more because I don't I don't know I might just take them in and out and put them in a Ziploc bag that might be easier it might be easier to store too because these are gonna be bulky so yeah I'll probably just switch them in and out and the extra ones are up in here that's been pretty handy so I have my centers ready to start probably next week so I figure they could probably do depending on how involved they are they're not super long so probably a 10 or 15 minute rotation would be plenty to finish those. So I got that ready last night. Like I said, I would, and I did. Um, what else did I do? Last night I also um, looked up the AR books. Well, I looked up the quiz numbers for the books that I had found that I had stashed back from last year, and I know I have more. So all of these have a quiz number inside the book. I just wrote it on the inside cover with a pen, like so. And I wrote the level, not the level. Yeah, well, the point four, that is the AR book level so that I can put the appropriate dots on these. But I do not have any blue dots, and that's what that level is. So I need to see if I can get some blue dots from a friend down there. I think she just got some. I'm going to ask her if I can have some blue dots, and I'd be happy to exchange some other ones if she needs some. But, yeah, I don't have any blue. I have, I just have these from Walmart. So I guess I just need to order some because I don't have the blue or the red, which I won't really need red because that's hugely high. But the blue ones are the lowest you can go. And I have several friends on that level right now. So I do need blue. I might just go ask my partner over here if she has some blue she can spare because she had some from the teacher before her. Um, for power hour, we did the spin and like spin to draw or something like that spin and build numbers this is from amy lemon's spin on math centers i love those i'm i think she only has one of those but i'm not sure i have to check i love all of amy lemon stuff i love lucky little learners and i also love not so wimpy teacher all three of those teachers have amazing second grade resources also reagan tunstall has really good second grade resources so if you're looking for second grade or third grade, all of those people have really great resources for either of those grades. Um, and Not So Wimpy Teacher even has stuff for like fourth and fifth in, in some of her things because she's a third grade teacher. So we did that and that took the whole time. <laughs> I thought, oh, well, we'll do that and then we'll do the um, last man standing game, which I think I found this for free. So I, I will try to, my goodness, I'll try to link it below. It's this thing here. It just comes with a direction sheet and then it has cards but I printed mine on cardstock 
No, I printed mine on paper and then I laminated them because I figured that's something we can use over and over and over. So what you do is you have the kids stand up like in a circle and then each kid gets a card and then you say, okay, if you have a three in the ones place, sit down. So this kid would sit down. I'm going to have them show me their card so that I know they got the right place value. So you just keep doing that until there's only one kid left and then you can have them put the cards back and then mix them up and put them out again. So you can, I mean, the possibilities of however many times you can play this game are almost limitless because you can change up what number you're asking for and what place value. So that's going to be fun. I'll put that back in my power hour thingy. So I think that'll be super fun. Power hour is over for the week. And we worked on basically drawing our hundreds, tens, and ones in the place value blocks and also counting them because I wanted to make sure they understood them. So we did different activities every day for that because I wanted them to be solid on that before we start writing them down. So next week we'll be doing expanded value. Now that they can count them in the blocks, they can write it in the numbers. And then we'll also write the numbers in word form because if they can count it, they can tell me what it is, then they can write it in words too. They just need practice and they need to know how to write the words. So that's that. Um, we are going to do I Ready reading today for our lessons. And I've got my iPads loaned out to my teacher friend down here. And then after specials and pictures, <laughs> then we'll do restroom and drink like we always do. And then come back up here. We'll grab her iPads and my iPads that she has in her room, which is enough for all of us. It's 22 now because we now have 11 in our classrooms. So we're now two to one. Two kids per iPad. That's going to be pretty nice. The only bad thing is we don't have enough chargers. We have eight chargers for 11 iPads. So what I've been doing is charging one back here on my teacher charger at night. And then in the morning, I unplug a couple of the ones in the basket and charge the other two that are sitting out because there's not even enough room in my basket for all the iPads now. There are more slots to plug in chargers in that charging platform thing. There are two spots empty. So that will do me. If they can get me even just two more chargers, I can put 10 of them on the charger there and one of them back here and it'll be fine. But if they want to get me another one, that's fine. But I can do it back here. It's not a big deal. Just switch them out in the morning. Just put my teacher iPad on there in the morning and put the kid iPad back over with the other iPads. So yeah, while kids are doing pictures, they're going to be standing in a line waiting to do their cheesy smile and have a great picture. After that, they have to wait for everyone else to get done. I am taking a place value color page with me with a box of crayons and the pages and all their picture money in a basket because it is not easy to corral 22 seven and eight year olds for 20 minutes. They get really, really bored, really, really loud and really, really rowdy. So I figured if I gave them that, that I'll give them something to do. So I've done these before and it's one of these kind of things that I got from Kara Carroll. It's Kara Carroll's place value mystery pictures. They count the blocks, they write the number all the way through the page. Then when they're finished, they figure out, they write whatever, no. When they're finished, they look at the numbers they have here and they color them in on their hundreds chart. And it makes a picture. It's pretty cool. They've done it twice now, so they already know how to do it. So it's a great activity to pull out. It doesn't take terribly long. Keeps them occupied, gives them something to do. And it's going along with our math. So it's a win-win-win. I'm going to heat up a breakfast burrito and eat some breakfast before it's time to go get my kiddos again and get my mind wrapped around the rest of the day. I was going to borrow the MacBook cart to let them do Prodigy today, but our um, scheduling thing on Google isn't working and I didn't know if somebody had it already scheduled, so I emailed all the second grade teachers and said, I would love to use the cart from this time to this time if it's okay. And somebody emailed back and said, oh, I've got it scheduled during that time. It's just not on the schedule. And I said, oh, okay, that's great. I said, well, then can I use your iPads during that time? Because if she's doing the MacBook, she doesn't need her iPads. So that's how that worked out really great. So they can still do Prodigy. And then next week, we might just go to doing the rotations. Each group does a different thing each day. That way, we don't have to worry about trying to find other iPads and stuff. So whatever group, whatever day your group has Prodigy, that's the day you get to do it. But this week, I was going through all the rotations one each day to make sure they knew how to do them. I might need to explain the centers to them just a little bit next week, but maybe not because they can read the directions cards. They're very simple. And I have my group's mixed ability so they can help each other out. I think that will help my kiddos that are struggling with knowing what to do 
like maybe they're having trouble processing the directions or whatever so they can help each other because they'll work in a group. So I think that'll be nice. They'll have partners and things. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm heating up my breakfast burrito. I'm going to get myself together and try to find some blue dot stickers to put on my AR level books. I have a girl that's like flying through the books because she just wants to take a jillion quizzes and I'm going to have to slow her down unfortunately because she's going to run out of books. She needs to read her library books and then go to the library and get more. And we need to save some of mine back for later. But I don't have all of mine out, and I know that I have a whole bunch more that I can use. Like, I've noticed that a lot of my reading group books that I've bought from Scholastic can be used for AR as well. So I'm using them for double duty. We'll use them for our book clubs and our guided reading. And then if there is a quiz, I will let them take a quiz on the book as well because we will have studied that book in depth and read it. So the thing with those is that's their instructional level, not their independent level. But by the time we have worked through that book, they should be able to take a quiz and do very well on it. So that'll be nice. I was trying to think if there's something else. Oh, I got some things cleaned up yesterday. I don't think, I didn't get to talk to you at the end of the day, so I didn't get to show you. But in my closet, <laughs> I have reorganized a little bit. These tubs here have the kids like extra tissues and germex and like wipes and um ziplocs and i don't want to keep them in the middle of my floor in the closet i want to be able to get to things so i've been taking a few of those home each day well i started yesterday i took two home yesterday i'll take probably one home today i'll take the other two tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday, and by the time I leave, all the kids will be gone. The buses won't be coming through, and I can have my daughter park out back here. I had to figure out which direction I pointed. She can park out back, and we can just go down the elevator, and I won't have to be carrying them down two flights of stairs or three flights of stairs. I think I went down two yesterday, but it wasn't a big deal. The top bin was empty, and the one that I had full wasn't heavy. It was just bulky, you know. I had some very nice parents like, can I get the door for you? I'm like, oh, thank you. That's so sweet. So it wasn't a big deal. I had Caitlin just pull around the front where the drop-off area is to pick me up because all the kids were gone at that point. So that'll work out great. And I'm making space in my closet so I can get to things that are kind of in the back area here <laughs> that I had intended to be able to get to, but I put stuff in front of it. You know how that goes. Best laid plans. So that's been good. I've also been um, kind of cleaning up around my desk area and putting stuff back here because I do have cabinet space, which is nice. So like my math games go here and my strategy games okay, here, here, go there. And I think we're going to do the Apple strategy game tomorrow. So that means I need to pull these out. Ooh, I have them printed. I printed them like a month ago and I just need to put them in sleeves. There's the first one that we'll do and we'll use those three-dimensional Apple erasers that people sent me. I'm so excited. Kids will love that tomorrow. That'll be a nice Friday activity. They've never... Okay, the five that I had last year have played these. The other ones have never played the strategy game. So I'm going to partner up my five with, you know, different people so they can help. So that'll be good. Um, I have, these have the apple, whoop, that way. These have those two different colored apple erasers in them because we played a, oh, we played that fish game. And I let them use the apple erasers for that. But this is also good for, like, roll and cover. If you don't want to keep printing papers, you can just print it out on Astrobrides or you can print it in color and stick it in a sleeve. And then they use you know, like the erasers to cover up their numbers instead of coloring them. And then you don't have to keep making copies, making copies, making copies. Because I know a lot of districts limit you on your copy usage and your paper, which stinks. Thankfully, we have not been told that. That might be coming sometime. I don't know. We've never been told you only have, you know, one ream of paper for the year or whatever, which that's insane. 500 sheets of paper for an entire school year. Like, you can't even make a test that way. Like, I don't know what they're supposed to do. I saw somebody on Teachers Connect say, okay, we've been told, first of all, she doesn't have books to teach reading with in her classroom, and the school doesn't provide them. And so I'm thinking, before I read the rest of it, I'm thinking, oh, you know, reading A to Z, you can print them out. Then she says, and we were just told we only get one, what did she say, one box of paper or one ream of paper? Maybe it's a box of paper because one ream of paper, I could use that in a month. Honestly, if I'm getting stuff for power hour and I'm getting stuff for here and I'm running assessments and I'm doing stuff ahead, I could probably go through that in a month for 22 kids. Anyway, I think she said a box, but still a box is only, I don't know, 10, is it 10 reams? 
So, you know, 500 sheets times 10 reams, that's not a lot of paper for a year. You really got to budget your paper. Anyway, so to save having to print a lot of stuff, there you go. So I've got the apples already done. I think I did 11 because or 12. I might have done 12. So we had a spare. I think I did. And then we've got this one's super cute. Look at that one. And you know I'm going to be breaking down my pumpkins for that one. And we have uh, leaves. Oops. With the leaves, I thought we might use these little colored um, like vase filler things. But I'd have to be really careful which... I'd have to separate by color because that's how you know whose is whose. Um, and then there's also, I think there's one more, candy corn, I believe. Maybe not. I don't think I did the, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's footballs. Footballs. And, yep, candy corn. Candy corn. All right, and I think I got candy corn erasers from Oriental Trading over the summer or the spring. And they also had some in those boxes of erasers from the dollar spot. So... Trying not to mix these up. <laughs> I had them in order. Um, I probably have enough erasers to figure something out with that, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, we could even do like spiders on the candy corn or something, whatever. Yeah, there's all kinds of neat erasers I'm going to bring out in October, but right now we're using the apples. I haven't used the letters yet, and I haven't used the rainbows or the unicorns or anything like that. So that's coming up. That'll be exciting for the kiddos. All right, so I showed you that, and I'm trying to think. I was going to do an activity using this and those number magnets from the Dollar Spot. I went and got these from Dollar Tree. I have 12 baskets. Yeah, sets of three. So four of those. And I got 12 cookie sheets because my other ones were getting a little gnarly looking. And I just wanted nice ones. So we're going to use those to do place value with because they can grab out whatever place value we're working on. Right now we're working on it to the hundreds. So I would have them grab out three numbers and there's a place value mat that they can put on their cookie sheet and they'll put the numbers in the appropriate spaces and make their numbers. And then that would be kind of fun too. Instead of just always using dice or something like that, that'd be really cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna eat my breakfast and just relax for five minutes <laughs> until it's time to get my kids again. So I will chat with you later and let you know how things are going. Good afternoon. Today was a day of absolute craziness. Our schedule was so messed up today because of picture day. Oh man, just like my necklace is all messed up. Look at that. About to get stabbed with one of these things. Okay, that's better. Pull myself together. Anyway, the, to make a long story short, they were way, 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 way backed up taking pictures. So we stood there and waited a little bit. I had the kids start their activity. The assistant principal came over and said, they're way behind. We're just going to have you go back up to your classroom and we'll call you when it's time for you to come down. It'll probably be about 15 minutes. Okay. I thought, oh, in 15 minutes, we could do snack and finish this activity. Perfect. We had time to do snack, finish that paper, clean up, and start iReady and get partway through iReady before they called us. So it was a good 40 minutes probably. Anyway, we went and got our pictures taken. I had them just do a mirror game where they, I picked one child and they did actions and then the students in the line did the same actions to kind of give them something to do while they were waiting for the others to get their pictures taken because they get so bored and squirrely while they're waiting because there's nothing to do. So we did that. We came back upstairs. We finished. I ready. Then I told them at 1130 they could get on Prodigy. So I walked around and said, you can get on Prodigy now. They did that. And then I started dismissing them to use the restroom for lunch. And then we cleaned up the iPads and stuff, and they were so loud and squirrely in line that I had to have them go sit down two different times. And then they still weren't quiet. And I said, friends, we're already late for lunch now because I can't get a quiet line, and we can't leave this classroom until you're quiet. When your feet are in line, your voice is off. And I just kept saying, I can't take you. And then there were just a few of them. A few of them just kept talking, and I said, you're making us wait. Those of you that are talking are making us wait for lunch. I hope they still have the kitchen open when we get down there because I knew all the other classes had already gone through and we're the last lunch shift and they clean stuff up. So I wasn't being like, you know, an empty threat or anything. I was just being honest. I'm like, guys, we need to get there before they put everything away because they won't be very happy with us if they have to pull all the food out again. They're going to be annoyed. So I said, we need to get there, but you have to get quiet for us to get there. So I waited and waited and waited and finally they got themselves together. But we were five full minutes late for lunch. Five entire minutes is a long time when you only have a 20-minute lunch. So, of course, I got short of my time too. 
So I just had time to use the restroom and do a few errands, and it was time to get them for recess. And then we came back, and I hadn't done a math lesson, and I wanted to stay on track with Go Math because if you get behind, it's really hard to catch up again. And I don't like to double up on lessons if I can help it because I want to give each day its full time so they can process things because Go Math concepts are hard. The math concepts aren't as hard as the way the Go Math presents them. <laughs> So you need extra time. Anyway, but I had promised them all week that we would do Prodigy on Thursday. I had promised them. I could not take that away from them. And I had to do it when we had the other class's iPads or we wouldn't have been able to do it at all. So next week we'll go into rotations and it won't be a problem because I'll always have enough iPads because we have 11. So the biggest group I have is six. It'll be fine. Oh my goodness. So this afternoon after our recess, we did our math lesson, which thankfully these are super short. Today was just writing down a 100s number into the 100s, 10s, and 1s, and then they had to write it in, um, they had to draw it out, yes, in place value blocks, and then write it in expanded form. So it wasn't a big deal. It didn't take very long. So we got done really quickly with that. And then I did rest and read. We read half a chapter of Humphrey. The kids were like, that was really short. I said, yes, yeah, because our reading kids need to go now. So I sent those six out to go to reading. Then I started book clubs and AR and Epic Time, and they were really happy about that, and that worked pretty well. So I didn't get any whole group reading lesson in. I didn't get any science or social studies lesson in today, but I did everything else. So, you know, you gotta something's got to give, and I had to do iReady. I had to do math, and I promised them Prodigy, so I felt like I needed to do that too. So I felt good that I met with all my groups today. I, I do two two groups and I alternate which day I do. The one group meets every day because they're the lower readers, so I meet with them every day. Then I have two higher groups that I meet every other day, so they get twice a week. And then my super high group I'm going to meet with on Fridays for like 15 concentrated minutes because they don't need me to read with them, but I need to do like comprehension activities with them and to stretch them. So I think that's going to be great. And we can do projects and things too. I think that'll be fun. It'll be more like a literature circle rather than like a regular reading group because they're pretty high as far as like phonics skills and things like that, which they'll need some of that, but mostly it's comprehension and higher order thinking skills that they need practice on. So we'll be doing a lot of that with that group. That'll be fun. There's six of them. So very good. The lowest one in that group is an M. I have one M, three N's, and three that are above an N. So that'll be nice to be able to do some higher activities with them. I'm excited to do some enrichment things. Okay, it is, it's like 314. I have about 16 minutes before I can leave. Caitlin won't be here right away, but I'll start packing up. Um, tomorrow's Friday. I told the kids we would try really hard to do that place value cake that I talked about. I got all the copies made today. So I've got like a hot pink. I did all Astro Brights to make it fun. It'll be a hot pink and a bright green and a yellow and a purple. I think that's it. Then after they build their cake, I'll have to give them a piece of paper to put it on. Because I think, just like a, just a regular white piece of paper, because the one I saw Amy Lemons do, I'm pretty sure it looked like she had them glue their pieces on just a paper, and they cut around it so it was stronger, and then they displayed them. So it's going to be cool. It's really cute because the layers of the cake are the hundreds flats, the candles are the tens, and then there's like little sprinkles or like, you know, the little candy things you can put on them that are the ones and then she has icing so I should have four different colors did I say four colors I don't even know anymore I was a little grouchy with one girl today because she was beyond defiant and obnoxious about it and finally I said I am sorry that you are not choosing to listen to me however if this happens one more time we're going to go to the office with this issue do you understand me because good gravy child how many times must I tell you something and then you just openly didn't do it. You just, you waited till I walked away and did whatever you wanted. That's not okay. I can't handle that. <laughs> I can handle somebody not knowing what to do. I can handle, it gets annoying, but I can handle them asking me a question because they weren't listening. But open defiance, I don't do that. I do not do open defiance. That just, mm, that just makes me so irritated because I'm all about respect and kindness. And you're not being respectful and kind to me if you're not following directions. And so that gets me so irritated with them. So I even went and followed her to the late bus area. And I said, look, if this happens one more time, it's going to be a problem between you and me. We're going to have some serious words. 
Yeah, it was so much that I was just like, mm, sister, you picked the wrong day. Pick the wrong day to do this. So I even went to the teachers that had her for the late bus time and I said, here's what happened. And if she does this again, I would like to know because this is not okay. She's been disrespectful and not respectful and responsible with her, her supplies. And she's doing things she shouldn't be doing with them. So, yeah, that was not cool. And then one of the other teachers said, oh, well, we had a little talk about things too today because she was defiant with me. And I'm like, oh, that seems to be a trend. So I have already voiced my concerns with the powers that be to get some kind of intervention going with her because this is an ongoing struggle. We're also having trouble with her and other children. And so we want to nip that in the bud. She knows I love her, but she also knows that Mrs. Vaughn doesn't tolerate that. And that's what I wanted her to know. I always love them, but I do expect them to be respectful and kind and responsible with their things, especially after I've already talked to them about it more than once. Okay, so I'm going to shake that one off because tomorrow's a new day. I just kept telling myself all day today, no matter how wacky things were and how crazy things got, it's still going to be Friday tomorrow and it's District Jeans Day. And some of you I know go to districts where Jeans Days are like all the time. We hardly ever get to wear jeans. Hardly ever. It's like big deal. Like that's like a huge reward for us. Like if they dangle a jeans day in front of us, we're like, what do you want to do? What do you, what do you want to do? Huh? Huh? I mean, we're like all about it. And especially since tomorrow's going to be cooler. So I'm going to wear some new birthday jeans that I told you about. And I think I'm going to wear my coffee, teach, sleep, repeat t-shirt because it's really cute. And maybe something a little fancy with it. I don't know. Some kind of cute necklace or something. Something, something. And, um... Probably keep my toes out still because it's not really, you know, super cool yet. Still, still going to be in the 70s. When it gets to be in the 50s, that's when I start wearing closed-toed shoes. So mid-October probably I'll be wearing regular shoes. But I wear flip-flops until then because my feet don't really get that cold. Maybe they're just numb. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow we'll have Flashlight Friday and they're super excited. Kids have been asking me during like library book reading time, AR reading time. Can I read whatever I want? Can I read books from home? I said, not during AR reading time because that's your time to practice your books and take a quiz. But on Flashlight Friday, you can read any books you want. And they're like, <gasps> and I said, you can pick out the classroom library. You can read a magazine. You can bring a book from home. It's anything you want to read. It's free choice. And they're like, oh. <gasps> So like if they got books from the book order, if they have special books at home they like, <coughs> if I have a whole thing of magazines they can look at, my only rule is you get what you want to read and you stay there. You don't get up and look again. You have to pick. I'm going to have them get like six things, six books out. So I'm going to have them pick stuff through the day so they're ready for that. Because if you, if you wait till it's time to do it, some kids, that's all they're going to do is pick books out and they're not going to read at all. So some of them will have pick that like I'll have one group pick in the morning before we go to specials and I'll have them put them in their cubbies in their little boxes these boxes here these little dudes and then I'll rotate around let the other groups pick before flashlight Friday time so they all have books to read so they can just grab their bin and go oh goodness I told you I've been cleaning up around here I've got one of my pink bins from over here <clears throat> sorry over by the door so I don't forget to take it home and then I can take the other two home tomorrow oh my gosh friends my house my house is looking like a hot mess because I have bins everywhere I'm not kidding I have bins in my living room I have bins in the family room I have bins in the in the office area I have bins in the closet I have bins in the garage I had a crap ton of bins in my trunk for a while like like extra ones like well not these particularly but you know like baskets and stuff that I didn't think I needed you know, the whole pile I showed you in my closet over the summer, I took all of those and put them in my trunk one day. And I'm pretty sure they rode around in my trunk for hmm, two weeks at least. Because every time I went to the store, I'd go, oh yeah, I forgot to take those out. Dang it. Because you know, you put them in there and you forget about them because you don't normally carry bins around in your trunk. Because I'm the only dork that does that apparently. Ah, I need to get myself together. Like this, I was talking to some of the other second grade teachers. They're feeling the same way I am. They're feeling like very, very stressed. And just really, really anxious and flustered and just everything's really difficult right now. It's just so difficult to get everything in. And I feel like I haven't taught my kids a dang thing. I really, I feel like I've taught them math and that's it. That's it. Because 
there's always something. There's always something that happens that takes up our time. So I just keep telling myself, it's going to get better. It's going to get better because everything is a procedure. Everything is a practice until you get into a groove. And we're still getting into a groove with a lot of things. <sighs> this too shall pass. I shall overcome. We shall endure. Just keep swimming. That is my motto. Just keep swimming. So on that note, I'm going to swim over to my desk and get some stuff around for tomorrow. Thankfully, we don't have power hour on Fridays. And I have my plan time budding right off the bat at 8.15. So my kids come in at 7.50, between 7.50 and 8.05. The buses trickle in. I do have morning room, and that's not a big deal. They're loving the morning tubs. They're loving them. Oh, and my kids, they were like, oh, I didn't get to play very long. I said, well, do you want to do those during Friday Fun Club, too? And they're like, <gasps> yes. I went, okay, you can do those tomorrow during Friday Fun Club. That could be one of the choices. And they're like, <gasps> I'm, I swear, you would think I'd handed them a bag of puppies. I mean, really. It was no big deal for me to say you can use those. I mean, that's kind of why I made them in the first place. And so they were just like, oh. Because, I mean, some of the activities in the morning tubs are the same as, like, the challenge bins, like the Legos. And that might be, oh, and pattern blocks. But looking over there, everything else is different. So there are blank. Brain. There are brain flakes over there, which I don't have a brain today, apparently. And I think I told you what was in there yesterday, so I won't go over that again. I think the login cards are all completely out of whack for numbers, so I'm not going to fix them. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let the kids do it because they're the ones messed up. <laughs> and I always have my leader. They get to be the fixer because they're the teacher assistant. So they it's their privilege to put down the lunch cards. People, they fight over that. Isn't that crazy? They fight over putting the chairs up at the end of the day. They fight over putting the lunch cards down in the chart in number order. They fight over picking up trash. And I'm like, dang, I like this because I don't have to do all this stuff anymore. Yay. I'm trying to allow them to have more responsibility and be more independent. And they're loving it. They're loving it. My only issue is I have to limit how many people do it because otherwise, you know, when you get too many people doing a job, it's not really helpful. <laughs> That's kind of where we are. So I'm like, okay, well, you do it today, and how about you do it tomorrow, and you do it the next day. You're just going to have to remind me because I won't remember all that. Okay. And they remember, man. Mine like a steel trap for those things. Not for the rules necessarily, but everything else they remember. Okay. It is now 325. I've been chattering along for a while, so I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'm going to get myself together so I can get out of here and go home and hopefully just chill for a while. I want to print out some centers so I can get them done ahead of time so I'm not doing them like a mad crazy person every weekend. But I think I would like to at least to get them printed out so I can take them home. The next round of these things. So I'll be way ahead. It'll be the place value centers. So I'm always going to be one skill group behind the kids so it's a review thing. Like I don't want to give them place value stuff now when we haven't finished our place value chapter. But... That will be a good practice and a good review for them after we've gone through it. So when we're on chapter three, they can be practicing chapter two things and so on and so forth. So that's the plan. That's why I'm doing the back to school centers, even though we've been in school for a month, because those things they should be able to do. All right. I will talk to you later, probably tomorrow. Good morning and happy Friday. We made it. Woo. This week was exhausting. I don't know what it was. I think the weather changes. That's part of it. Picture day. That's part of it. Because yesterday was just a lot. A lot. And we, we are trying to get everything started. I ready lessons. We're getting keyboarding started today. So that's a whole new thing. A whole new routine. And so I still don't have a routine set yet because we weren't able to start things because we didn't have the passwords yet. Now we do. We're all set to go. I even logged myself in as a teacher to make sure it was working. So they're just supposed to be able to scan their iReady card. Their little QR code will log them into the typing thing too. So we're going to be doing the type to learn program. And if you see on my board there, I have a typing keyboard and it's got some little hints on there, so I thought I'd post that so I could refer to it. They could refer to it while they're typing. But it's supposed to just tell them to do certain things on the keyboard. It's supposed to do it itself. It's self-directed. So we'll see. I'm sure I'm going to be running around like a crazy person troubleshooting things because they have to get on there first. And we're going to do it every Friday for 30 minutes. Then we'll have snack, and then we can move on with our lives. <laughs> 
I'm going to do Friday Fix Up today. Thank you, Jeremy Michael Book, for that awesome idea. And I'm going to use Angie Olson from Lucky Little Learners. Uh, fix It Fast or something. I'll link it below. It's a product that she has in her Teachers Pay Teacher store. So I'm going to use that. Fix It Up, Fix Ups or something like that. Something. So we're working right now on capitalization and punctuation. And these have capitalization, punctuation, and... Um, like word wall words, like words they should know how to spell. So I will point those out. But right now I'm really focusing on make sure every sentence has a capital letter at the beginning. Make sure every sentence has some kind of ending mark. And we talked about asking sentences and telling sentences. And on a telling sentence, are you saying it just normally? Or are you super excited? Show that with your end mark. So we talked about that a little bit the other day when I did my Rooted in Reading lesson with Edward the Emu, or Emu, however you want to say it. So they really enjoyed that, and they did a great job. So today should be pretty easy. Um, I think I may just do it on the board with them today, and then maybe next time I will give them the paper so they can do it themselves. But right now it's just an introduction, and there are five, I think, on the page. So we'll just do them together, and I will write the things as a model, and then I'll probably use that to put up next time like I can print it off or something and I can take a a picture of it and print that off and use it as a an anchor chart later for them to know what to do when they do it yeah because we'll always check it for sure because I don't want them to continue to do something wrong just because it's independent no we are always going to check it so we're going to do Friday fix up today keyboarding time snack always um what else Friday fun club flashlight Friday I had them pick six books out of the classroom library today just for Flashlight Friday. Some of them were trying to pick AR dot books because I have one shelf of AR dot books. I said, oh, don't pick anything out of the dot library. Just pick for fun books. Just anything you want. If you want to read about cars, read about cars. If you want to read about stegosauruses, read about stegosauruses. Those books are no dot books. Pick, a no dot, pick six no dot books or four no dot books and two magazines. And then you're going to have everything you need for Flashlight Friday because I'm only going to do it for like 15 minutes, which, I mean, maybe 20 to get. It depends on how fast they settle down, but they're always kind of giggly and squirmy at the very beginning. But then after they get into it, they really start reading their books and they're enjoying it, especially when they get to pick the books. Today should be a lot better. Before, they didn't have those books, but they did have like these free books here. I have this tote of just books, but they didn't have six. They had like four. So, and it was kind of hard to have everybody pick four out of there because it was just, you know, 22 kids trying to get four books. And I didn't send them at the same time, but it still got really crowded. Anyway, I sent them in groups because I have them in color groups, as you can see on my board. There. I have green, orange, pink, and purple. Yeah, I know the colors of my groups, sure. Anyway, yeah. So I sent them one group at a time. And when most of that group had been done choosing, then I sent the next group over. And most of them, I think, got enough time to choose. There might be, like, the last group may not have had quite enough time, so I'll let them have, like, a couple minutes to do it. They can pick some more real fast. So I told them to put them in their um, their little white box in their cubbies, and I said, if they don't fit, you can just set your box on top of the cubbies on that, you know, top part, the shelf part. And so I think, looking from here, most of them fit in there. And they're not going to have to stay in there. And they can even lay their box over if they need to, so it'll fit better. Yeah, I just didn't want them to get lost. I wanted them to take their box and have everything they need because they can read their sight word book too, which everybody should have their little orange sight word book. Some of them may not have gotten it because they were absent the day that I gave them out, so I need to check. I think I have two probably that need to get theirs, and they can read that too because we'll be testing on those, and they'll be earning rewards for that. All right, my burrito is done. It's beeping at me. Today was District Jeans Day, so we got to wear our jeans, and so I'm wearing some new birthday jeans that I got for Marisa's that came in the mail. I never showed you those, so I'll show, me, I'll show them to you today. And I'm wearing my Coffee, Teach, Sleep, Repeat shirt. So I'll back up so you can see it. Got my hoops from Old Navy. I have a ring from Walmart, my Alex Nanny bracelet, and some sparkly flip-flops from Walmart. Really old. All right, I'll back up so you can see the whole thing. Then I'm going to eat my breakfast and get myself together because the kids are going to be needing to be picked up in 15 minutes. All right, here we go. This shirt came from Amazon. I linked it below before. They may be out of stock now. I don't know. But I know the first time I wore this, I linked it below. I'll try to find it again. 
And I want to show you my pockets because these are fancy jeans. These are Vigos jeans. I'm a pocket girl. I like pockets. I look at the pockets on jeans before I even try them on. <laughs> if they're not cute enough, I don't get them. Now, I did get some kind of plainer ones from Old Navy because they were just really cute jeans. Just the wash on them was really nice. And so that's why I got plainer ones for that. But those are really good when you're going to wear something super long and it would cover your pockets anyway. So what's the point of having fancy pockets, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get to work and I'll chat with you later. One more thing before I go. I forgot to tell you that one of my sweet girls brought me this little note today. Isn't that cute? With a pineapple dum-dum pop. Oh, and before she came in, one of my little boys brought me one too. I'm like, oh, you guys are so sweet. I have two pineapple pops I can have. Yay. I have printed the center books, the little recording books for the next set of centers. And I printed the centers, but someone left blue paper in the color printer. Why you would put blue paper in the color printer, I don't know. Because we have a black and white printer downstairs too. So when I went to get these, I'm like, oh, somebody left blue paper in the printer. Yeah, I don't know why you would print color on blue, but whatever. So I'm not reprinting that. They're just going to have blue centers. I'm sure the kids will think it's cool. But pff, whatever. I'm not reprinting that. It's silly. So I'll take those home and laminate them and get them cut out. So they'll be ready for like three weeks from now. I'll be ahead of things. That's what I need to do is get ahead. I feel like I'm always scrambling and I'm behind. So that thing I'm ahead on. Oh my goodness. I found this on some website. I don't even know where it was. And I was printing it on cardstock and every other page like got stuck in the copier. And I just finally was like, I can't deal with you today. I can't do this today. So I only made like 12, but I can partner my kids up. That's enough because I have 22 kids. That's plenty of mats for them to share. So we may just do that until Mrs. Bond can fight with the copier again to get the other 12 done. Because I wanted to have them extra. <sighs> you know, best laid plans. So I'm good. I made my next three interactive journal pages. So we'll be good on that. And I have my place value birthday cake that I'm going to let them do after keyboarding today. That'll be exciting. I totally redid my plans. Like I have my plans in my plan book here. And then I have the plans for Friday because <laughs> I decided I'm not going to kill myself today. I'm not doing it. I'm exhausted. We have done a lot. And there are things that I want to do on Fridays. And so today's the day. Today's the day we're going to do fun stuff. So there you go. And still learning. I mean, this is math. They have to make their cake. They have to, I think I may give them the number. I think they have the opportunity for, let's see. Oh, they could have the number as big as six. So I'll give them a number between 300 and 600. And something, you know, however many tens, how many, however many ones. And, you know, we may just roll the number. That'd be good because I have, I have the big dice and I found the other inflatable dice. So we can roll all three. That's what we'll do. That'll make it fair. Then I don't have to think of numbers too. <laughs> the dice will do the work for me. So I just need to pull out one inflatable die and blow it up. And then they can roll their number. I'll just have them come up and roll their number. That'd be good. They'd like that too. It'd be fun. Okay. So I'm going to eat and stop babbling and get to work. I'll talk to you later. Hi. I'm home finally from school. It's five o'clock. I just went around and fed all of the cats, which is like feeding a herd. Now I'm just going to relax for a while. My husband will probably be home in about an hour. We're probably going to get pizza. I think Caitlin's going to go to the football game tonight. And I am pooped, pooped this week. I don't know what it was, but I'm not the only one that's feeling like this. Like, I put something on Instagram yesterday, and man, I had a lot of people going, I feel the same way. And I'm like, wow. I don't know if it was the weather, because honestly, when there are hurricanes, it affects us later, because it, it trickles down. It's the trickle-down effect. And so, I don't know. It, it kind of made the kids squirrely, I think. They weren't very good listeners the last few days, that's for sure. That was very hard to deal with, because, you know, when you're trying to teach something, and you know you have a limited amount of time for everything that you do. And you take half of your time getting them quiet so they can hear you. It, get, it just kind of wears on you for a while. It wears on you after a while. And you're just like, what am I even doing here? <laughs> Today, I looked at them and I said, you know what? 
if we can't be quiet and listen, then I'm not going to do this. And I just looked at them because we were getting ready to do Flashlight Friday, which they dearly love. And I said, if you can't even get quiet enough for me to tell you something, we are not going to do Flashlight Friday, friends. And they just went, <gasps> well, some of them did. Some of them didn't even care. They weren't listening. Oh, my goodness. It's just, I don't know. This week was very, very rough as far as that went. So I'm hoping next week is better. Monday's a fresh start. I always think of Mondays. I do have my little little moment of Sunday afternoon sadness. Not depression, but sadness. I'm like, oh, the weekend's almost over. I'm not going to be able to relax with my family. I'm not going to just be able to hang out and just kind of relax and chill. But Mondays are always full of promise. I always feel like it's a fresh start. The possibilities for improving things from the week before are there and there's room for growth and there's room to try to change things up and make it work better so we can always try something new and see if it'll work and i'm still trying to tweak my schedule to get everything in we did find out that with the iReady lessons kids are not logging out and then when the next class uses your ipad sometimes they're going in on your kids iReady and it's making it look like your kid was on there for an hour and a half and they weren't. And then the other kid's not logging any minutes at all. So I kind of feel like they need to just throw out all of last week's <laughs> iReady lessons personally. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. It's a learning curve. And on the iPads especially, you know, if it was on the MacBook, you would just close out on the red dot and you'd be done. Well, on the Mac, sorry, on the iPads, there are all those little tabs across the top. And you have to tell them to click off of each thing, which is a lot. you got 22 kids, and they're, they think they know what they're doing, and so they're not listening to you. They think they already know that I don't have to listen, or I already know what, I already know what to do. I don't have to listen. No, you really don't. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. Would you please listen? Ugh, it's very, very, very time-consuming and exhausting. So I think that was a lot of my thing this week was we did I ready this week. We started our lessons on Monday. And it was a lot of, please listen before you do anything. Please, oh, nope, now you got to go back because you weren't listening to me. I tried to start the Type to Learn program today, and I gave up because it wouldn't log them in. Some of them would log in. Some of them wouldn't log in. I'm like, I can't do this. I don't have it in me. And I couldn't fix the problem. What has to happen, I think, is that the tech guy needs to redo it. He needs to redo the logins. So... I emailed him and I said, I'm not able to do this. And I thought, is it just me? No, I went and talked to another teacher and she said, not all of them are working. Like not all of the MacBooks that we have are working like they're supposed to. And one of the MacBooks keyboards isn't even functioning. <sighs> Can I just say, I'm just really, really glad it's Friday and I'm home. I'm going to have pizza. My husband picked up the latest Jurassic World movie the other day because it came out on DVD probably a few weeks ago and I didn't realize it. I know, I was just out of it. <laughs> Usually I'm right on top of those because they come out on Tuesdays and I'm, I know when their release dates are, if it's a movie I want. But I just wasn't paying attention because I've had other things on my mind for a while. I don't know, school and stuff, just little things. And I noticed Redbox sent me an email saying, hey, Jurassic World is out. And I'm like, well, if it's on Redbox, it's been out for sale for a while. And so I called my husband. I said, hey, can you pick that up? And he went and found it, which was really nice. So I think we'll probably watch at least some of that tonight before we fall asleep. <laughs> while we eat our cheesy pizza. I brought home a ton of stuff to do this weekend. Don't know how much of it will get done. I did show you the centers that I printed out so I can laminate them. That's not a huge rush, but I would like to get them laminated at least, and then I can cut them out another time. I brought home all of the pre and post tests for math for all of the chapters so that I can start reworking them because they're kind of a sad little copy mess. I want to put them in digital form so we can put them in our Google Docs. I brought home a stack of scholastic books that I'd gotten last year that I'm going to AR level so I can put them in my AR library because I was able to get dots from the grade level closet because we had grade level money to purchase dots. So now I have the correct color of dots. I was missing some. I had the ones you could get from Walmart and I was going to order the ones from Amazon. I thought, you know, before I do that and spend my own money on them, I'm going to check and see if we have some. And yes, we had ordered some for second grade, so I was able to get some of those. I got a little bit of each, and of course I need to work on lesson plans as always, do laundry, vacuum, you know, normal household stuff, clean the bathrooms, fun. I would like to go see the new Jack Black movie 
tomorrow. It came out today, and it's the one with the clock in the house, the clock in the wall or something. I don't even remember what it's called, but it looks really interesting, very magical. So I think that'll be good. I'm just tired, tired, tired. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Comment down below how your week has gone. So my, my week was so wackadoo, I didn't even do my, my weekend vlog. I didn't even, like I have the footage, I just haven't done anything with it. I started editing the other night and I went, I can't do this. I don't have, I can't even think straight. I'm exhausted and I can't do this. I'm running the dishwasher right now, so if you can hear that in the background, I apologize, but it was full and I needed to run it so we had clean dishes. <laughs> It'd be nice to have some, you know, plates and things to eat off when we have our pizza. I have a season pass on the struggle bus. I'm hoping that I can turn my ticket in and not ride that bus anymore. <laughs> I'm kind of over it. It's been a very bumpy ride on that bus and I'm ready to get off. I'm going to say goodnight and close out the vlog and I'll see you next week. I hope you have had a wonderful week and are having a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.